Hey guys, it's me Desiree Marie and I'm back here today to do another video. Now, <laughs> I never really come here two times a day. You never really see my face twice a day, but I found out some piece of news that I really wanted to um, share with you all and get your opinion on. And it's like hot off the press and I just really wanted to um, I just really wanted to share it with you and get your take on it. So as you already know, this is a lock channel. I talk a lot about my locks, but not only about my locks, I also talk about my life, but it's mostly locks. And um, yeah, I, I mean, if you know me, you know that I don't like to um, segregate or isolate other people. I like to keep this channel all inclusive. But there's some news that I really wanted to get your opinion on. And I'm going to just read it right off of the, my phone. I found it here online and I was just looking for content to put here on this channel and I found this and I'm like what no way this is something I have to share with my friends okay so I'm gonna read it and I want you to give your honest opinion down below I'm gonna read it and give my opinion you know here and there but this is mostly um, for you to get your feedback and what you think about this. All right, so here goes. The title is KKK member with dreadlocks spotted at Virginia rally. A Ku Klux Klan member with dreadlocks spotted at a rally in Charlottesville, Virginia on Saturday caused a firestorm of reactions on social media. Twitter user Devante Cunningham with the Twitter handle at FreeYourMindKid posted the photo of the unidentified man from Rally on Twitter Saturday night. The North Carolina-based Loyal White Knights held the rally to prevent the city from removing the, stat uh, the stat statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee from a local park. And, and he quotes on Twitter, he says, a Klansman with dreadlocks, y'all. A Klansman with dreadlocks. Um, and that's what he said here on Twitter. Uh, Cunningham told the BBC he and his friend were in total disbelief when they saw the member with the hairstyle. We're looking at the KKK here, and dreadlocks are basically a symbol of African culture. It was really weird to see, Cunningham told the BBC on Monday. Now, I have to pause right there because he says that dreadlocks are a symbol of African culture and I don't think that's all the way fair I don't think that's all the way true um, the way I see it is dreadlocks are a state of hair <laughs> a state of your hair a state of any type of hair like it's a matted state of hair and just about any hair can mat if you think about it straight hair can mat curly hair can mat kinky hair can mat so the to say that dreadlocks which is matted hair is only for Africans or black people or it, it comes from African culture I don't think that's all the way true because I think that people had dreads dreadlocks since the beginning of time unintentionally maybe unintentionally or maybe intentionally but I don't think that we should label it as black culture because I honestly I don't think that it is I think that it's it's everyone it's an everyone type of thing maybe blacks and African culture you know Africans have pushed it more and we see them rocking the hairstyles more and it's more prevalent than say we see Asians or Caucasians or Indians with locked hair so that is one thing that I had to say like I, I think he was totally wrong with that and um, I, I really don't like when people try to isolate other people and, and make it more of a, uh, <clears throat> a racial type of thing. Guys, like, <laughs> it's hair, it's hair. And this is, the, this is one of the points that I made in a previous video that locks, dreadlocks are just hair and hair that has matted. So how can you say that it's only for one culture when everyone can do it and everyone has done it? <laughs> Can we trace back to the first person that ever wore locks? No, but maybe Africans and, and blacks have more pushed it and, and, and wore their hair like that more than other people. Um, I did not like uh, years ago when Justin Bieber 
Um, I, I, not, not that I didn't like it. I enjoyed when he played around with dreadlocks with his hair. But I did not like what one person did, and this person is well liked, well liked, and um, and you know people listen to this person, and this person was really going in on him and making it seem like he's not supposed to do that. He's not contributing to black culture. But why is he wearing that hairstyle? And just going in and making it seem like he was just out of order for wearing his hair like that, and I'm like, come on. Seriously, like, why are we becoming so black power that we can't embrace other people that try different hairstyles as well? It's not just black culture. I don't believe it's black culture. What do you guys think? Honestly, like, I don't want to strike up an argument, but I'd like to have a healthy debate. What do you guys think? Are dreadlocks for black culture? Are dreadlocks only for black people, African people? But enough on that, um, it continues, the article continues, Cunningham's tweet generated tens of thousands of retweets, likes, and responses, with many people also illu uh, illustrating their confusion of seeing the member with dreadlocks in GIFs. And yeah, everyone's just continuing. One person said, levels of confusion, um, you ain't lying, somebody knew how a role to work that razor. I don't know. Someone said, I'm actually screaming. Um, what does that even mean? And so forth. It continues to say, however, some users fired back saying no popular, um, no particular culture owns the hairstyle that anyone can adopt. I agree wholeheartedly. Cunningham also told the news outlet he was at the rally to protest it, saying it angered him to see the rally at home, at, at place he called home so and it quotes so I knew that whatever counter protest was going to be happening I needed to be there Cunningham said about 50 clan members classed with more than 1,000 protesters at the Saturday um, afternoon rally now I don't like there's two different ways you can go about talking about this. You can talk about it as if he's just a random white guy wearing locks. Or you can like say, oh my gosh, Ku Klux Klan. Um, like we already know where they stand and what they believe the Ku Klux Klan members and they're all just pro-white culture. Um, and we already know that. That's, that's something that will never change as far as their group is concerned. But I don't think that him wearing locks is, I don't think that it it for me I guess it's from whatever standpoint you're looking at it and what your point of view is um, which would be the way that you kind of maneuver around the situation me because I don't see locks as just being black culture and just for blacks I don't exactly see a problem with it but I do see how it could be a problem with other people <laughs> that do subscribe to locks being black culture and um, and and not for anyone else's culture so yes guys i just basically wanted to get here on camera to talk about that share that with you and get your response what do you think what do you think about this piece of news i will link the news down below so that you can take a look as well and um let us know down below what your thoughts are let's have a healthy discussion and i'll see you down in the comments <laughs> later guys